Lenovo have launched their newest ThinkPad P-Series mobile workstation, the P14S, aimed at CAD customers. Based on the same chassis as the ThinkPad T14, the P14S has a choice of Intel and AMD variants. Today we'll be looking at the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 4750U ThinkPad model. Is it a marriage made in heaven? Let's find out. <music> Starting at 1.47 kilograms or 3.24 pounds, the ThinkPad P14S shares the same case as the ThinkPad T14 and T490, which is not a bad thing. The case is made almost completely from fiberglass reinforced plastic and reinforced by a magnesium frame in the base unit. The exterior is covered in a smooth rubberized layer, including the palm rest area, giving it an excellent tactile feel when handling it. There's little flex on the chassis and keyboard area. The display lid has a generous amount of protection too thanks to military standard 810G. It can stand a few knocks and shocks over time. Typical ThinkPad construction, you know it's going to last. Maintenance can be a little tricky to take the bottom cover off. Firstly remove the SIM tray at the back of the case then remove the six Phillips screws on the cover. Using a plastic pry tool carefully pop open the plastic clips attached around the cover. Tip is to go from the top where the hinges are first and work down to lift the lid. This review model has 8GB soldered on and 8GB in a single DIMM slot running dual channel mode. Up to 48GB of DDR4 3200MHz, one soldered 16GB and one so DIMM 32GB for example. The Wi-Fi module is soldered on but you can add the WWAN card. M.2 2280 SSD is upgradable along with the 50 watt hour battery and internal CMOS battery. The display on this review model is a 14 inch Full HD 1920x1080 IPS low power variant. There's excellent brightness rated at 400 nits, plenty for most situations including outdoor viewing. PWM is kept to a minimum. There is slight backlight bleeding around the edges but nothing to worry about. Colours are great on this display, deep blacks and great contrast. With it being an IPS panel, the viewing angles are superb throughout. Using Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom is possible on this panel, thanks to the 96% sRGB rating. Don't touch the 250 nits display panel on offer. There is a touch version with 300 nits, but the colour accuracy is not as good, and battery life is worse compared to the 400 nits low power display. The two small steel covered hinges are robust and sturdy, allowing the display lid to open up to 180 degrees flat using one hand. On the right we have a Kensington lock, a Realtek Gigabit RJ45 port, a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 always on and a smart card reader. On the left we have a USB-C power in, USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2, a docking connector, USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1, HDMI 2.0, a headphone microphone combo jack and a micro SD card reader. Around the back of the laptop is a SIM card slot powered by WAN Fibocom L850GL 4G LTE card. Useful if you travel a lot on the road and don't have Wi-Fi coverage. Wi-Fi is taken care of with the Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200 2x2 with Bluetooth 5.1 combo card. In testing, wireless coverage was excellent when connected to a Wi-Fi 5 or Wi-Fi 6 router or access point. Bluetooth connections were equally good with no issues using a mouse or speakers to stream on. The keyboard like most ThinkPads is a delight to type on. For touch typists like myself it's really comfortable to type for long sessions with excellent tactile feedback and ample travel with each key press. There's two level backlighting available with the press of the function key and spacebar. Talking of function key, Lenovo have this delightful quirk of swapping the control and function keys around. Luckily you can easily swap it via the Lenovo Vantage software app. You can also use the shortcut function keys F9 to open the Windows 10 notifications bar, F10 and F11 keys to open Skype and Teams, sorry it doesn't open Zoom, and F12 to open a website or your favourite application. The touchpad is a nice size with integrated buttons offering a multi-finger gesture with smooth glide action. The buttons are quiet and not too clicky. The same can't be said for the track point plastic mouse buttons which feel a little cheap and louder when used. The track point is precise and much more user friendly than the HP versions I have tested in the past. Sound from the user facing speakers with Dolby Audio presets is quite pleasant and loud without being distorted. Audio is clear and decent when listening into a lecture or someone talking in a Zoom meeting. Dual mics either side of the webcam provide good pickup of your voice when talking in Teams. The HD 720p with ThinkPad webcam privacy shutter is a usual average quality affair. Okay for a spot of Zoom or Teams, but if you rely on it for your work or studies, grab yourself a better 1080p webcam instead. 
The P14S in this test model has an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 4750U processor based on the Wenhua architecture. 8 cores beating inside at a base clock of 1.7 GHz all the way up to a potential 4.1 GHz. TDP is 15 to 25 watts. The Pro processors offer a range of business features like hardware security, for example AMD memory guard, manageability and reliable long activity. On this test laptop with 16 GB of DDR4 memory and a 512 GB PCI i.e. NVMe Gen 3 times 4 M.2 SSD from Samsung, the ThinkPad P14s was very responsive and had plenty of performance for all common office tasks. I didn't find any bottlenecks when running multiple things at once. Benchmark results were great with the AMD CPU. Cinebench R23 shows a score of 8,186 points on multi-core and 1,209 points on single-core, rendering more scenes than the i9-9880H with less power. Superposition gives a benchmark result of 2,051 points. 3D Mark results show a CPU score of 6,111 and a graphics score of 980. PC Mark 10 resulted in a score of 4,998. Geekbench 5 produced 1,141 in single core and 5,953 in multi core. The Pro 4750U almost comes within a whisker of beating the 45 watt i9 10885H in benchmark scores, despite the much higher power consumption in the Intel CPU. The CPU performance on the AMD is not reduced on battery power. Fan noise is kept very quiet overall. Even when we were running our heavy benchmark tests, the fans hardly picked up audibly. Great for silent work or study environments. Thermals in the P14S are kept to a decent and manageable 45 Celsius under the chassis and only slightly warm to the touch on the keyboard. The temperatures stay very low when idling and under light workloads. The ThinkPad P14S is perfect for highly mobile power users and light CAD workloads. The P14S will happily run applications like Autodesk Fusion 360, Linux Mint 20 with supported drivers and nowadays CAD in the cloud in the shape of OnShape to name one software as a service provider, bypassing the need and hardware to run your CAD workloads. The Pro 4750U APU also integrates a Radeon RX Vega 7 integrated graphics card with 7 CUs and up to 1600 MHz. To get the maximum performance, you should add a second memory module for the highest possible GPU performance in dual channel mode. So a question that's always asked, will the ThinkPad P14S play games after you've had a hard day at the office or uni? The answer is yes, but like games only in low settings. We managed to play titles like Among Us, Man of Medan, Minecraft Dungeons, and MotoGP20 with no issues. Common titles like Fortnite, LOL, and CSGO will play in low to medium settings. The P14S has a 3 cell 15 watt hour internal battery that supports rapid charge up to 80% battery life in one hour with a compact 65 watt AC adapter. With brightness down to 50% and better battery option, general office activities such as browsing email, music streaming, and Word expect around 9 hours plus. Video playback lasted 11 hours hours or so, and under heavy load and full brightness, the battery life went down to two hours or so. Security features on the P14S include a ThinkPad webcam privacy shutter, a fingerprint reader for website logins, an IR camera for Windows Hello facial recognition. There's also a discrete trusted platform module 2.0, and finally a Kensington lock for added security. Three pros and cons before buying the Lenovo ThinkPad P14S. Awesome AMD. Great performance and a light and thin laptop used to be unheard of until AMD stepped in with their Wenhua processors, outperforming the Intel competition despite being in a battery efficient form factor. Delightful display. The past few months we have seen more and more 400 nits low power IPS panels on the market with great colour gamut to boot. The review model displays no exception, really good viewing angles and a joy to use for work or study. Comfortable input devices. One of the main selling points of a ThinkPad is the input devices on offer, world-class keyboard, smooth touchpad, and the classic track point. Many have tried to match Lenovo but failed. Where's the GPU? If the Lenovo ThinkPad P14S is aimed as a lightweight mobile workstation, where are the dedicated GPU options that the Intel version of the P14S has? The Intel models come with the NVIDIA Quattro P520. Surely the AMD models should have similar options if not the choice of the new NVIDIA Quattro T500 GPU. No Thunderbolt 3. The P14S has no Thunderbolt 3 port to take advantage of the faster transfer of speeds at 40 gigabits per second, plus the convenience of a single cable connection to a docking station to power two 4K monitors. Where's the SD reader? 
For those using digital cameras, especially content creators, will miss a SD card reader to transfer their photos and video clips to a laptop. So if you're considering the ThinkPad P14S, what are the alternatives out there? In no particular order, here's a list to consider. HP EliteBook 845G7, Lenovo ThinkPad T14 AMD, HP ZBook Firefly 14G8, Dell Precision 3560. The Lenovo ThinkPad P14S shares similarities to the ThinkPad T14. On one hand, you have a robust, lightweight, premium laptop with fantastic performance from the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 4750U. Battery life will last you more than a complete workday, and it stays cool throughout. The display is outstanding with accurate colours and good brightness levels. If you've typed on a ThinkPad before, you know the keyboard is one of the best, if not class-leading, in the business. On the other hand, the Lenovo engineers have forgotten to include a few items in the P14S that would have made this lightweight mobile workstation the one to beat. Thunderbolt 4 and an SD card reader would be ideal, but the cherry on the cake would have been a dedicated GPU like the NVIDIA Quattro T500 for entry-level CAD work. On its own, the ThinkPad P14S is an excellent premium business laptop, but not as a mobile workstation. Otherwise, the P14S is just the ThinkPad T14 AMD in disguise. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad P14S laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.